today I'm going to show you an easy method to take an advanced pipe coping and make it available as a printable pattern for the shop floor. Once the pattern can be printed out and wrapped around the tube physically, it's then easy to trace out the geometry we need so the pipe can then be cut appropriately. I've done a little bit of setup in advance of our session here today, uh, so I'll take a section view on the component and let you take a look at the, uh, the actual cope that's taking place here. Now that we've seen how those two pipes join together, uh, let's go ahead and cut off the remaining portion of the tube that we don't need. It's likely a good idea to do this on a saved model or a second secondary copy of your original as this procedure is mildly destructive. We're going to choose plane number two and under insert, cut, with surface, we're going to use that plane to crop off the end of the pipe. In this case, we'll choose a specific body and choose to remove the majority of the pipe. With that stage complete, it's time to use our existing sketch, number six, that you see here, which is just a very, very tiny wedge. It will be a small enough wedge to open up the cylindrical component as a sheet metal part. To do that, I'll choose an extruded cut, Let's flip the direction over, choose the through all operation, and once again selecting a specific body to cut. Let's hide that secondary body that's no longer needed so we can get a clear picture of the end of the pipe in question. As a last step in the process, we're going to bring up our sheet metal toolbar within our command manager, and we'll jump directly to the insert bends tool. We'll notice that the insert bends tool often asks for a fixed face, however the second option is that we simply choose an edge of our component. I'll leave the defaults in place for this particular example and we see that SolidWorks has gone through and converted the part into a sheet metal component. This gives us the ability to then flatten the part and then make it available for print at a one-to-one -one scale. One method to do this would be to right-click on the flat pattern feature within the feature manager and choose export to DXF or DWG. That way, once we've exported the file, we can open it up and print the, print the result. In our case here today, I'm going to choose, by via control select, the few faces that I need and use the normal two operation to view our flat pattern end on. This will give me the ability to rotate the, uh, the view as I need so that I can then apply it to a SOLIDWORKS drawing. Now that we have the flat pattern lined up, let's take a quick run through placing that in a drawing sheet so it can then be printed for use in the shop. We'll choose an A4 sheet and not bother to display the sheet format, as all we need is the outline of our flat pattern. We'll drag in the current view, make sure we have that set at a one-to-one -one scale, so that when it's printed, it can be wrapped around the physical size of the pipe. Let's rotate our view 90 degrees, just so it fits on the page.
and there we have it. The end result being a flat pattern of the cope that we can print, cut out, wrap or tape around the pipe in question, and then trace out the uh, trace out the coping with a magic marker, paint pen, chalk line, whatever you happen to have so that your manufacturing team can then make the cut as desired. I hope this quick tip gets you through a pinch at some point, and we'll see you here back at the Javelin blog very soon.